Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, in this one, uh, I just want to go over like my inventory and my stats, and uh, more specifically, set up some auto loot filters because I literally have none. Um, I haven't been picking up anything other than what I've done manually. So, just recently, I was able to clear Forsaken Temple and gain access to Dune Eater difficulties and uh, all that fun stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and clear through some inventory, find out specifically like what my highest uh, upgrades and such I have on gear and everything and like get an idea of uh, the upgrade levels I want and everything like that. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of clearing and then I'll, uh, I'll catch up and show you guys what I'm trying to do with these, these filters. Alright, uh, I think I've got my inventory pretty sorted out. Um, I did my pets first, my armor next, I've got my accessories afterwards, and then uh, weapons and off hands last. And then this one is for runes. We can change the image really quick. Uh, sure. This is our rune bag, uh, in case we get any overflow of runes. Um, but let's go ahead and do the auto filters. This uh, this is gonna take me a moment. So I think that like generally, hold on. Uh, my inventory like based around my armor. Um, I see some four twenties, some three eighties. That range, right? When, like, in my godly armors, um, a few 350s. So, like, based on that knowledge, I want to set my filters to. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, find them in gameplay. The auto loot filters. All right. So, I'm gonna set a base here, and then we can go in and like edit them to where we need them to be. So, let's create just a bunch of them really quick. All right, so let's go into the armor section and do that first. So we'll set an upgrade range. Uh, the minimum that we want to be picking up is, I would say for me, because the best that I have right now are like a 420s. Um, I want to pick up anything that is like a 435. Anything that rolls lower than that, I won't pick up. Because the, I, I want up, armor with upgrades higher than this. So, there we go. That's pretty sweet. We like that. Uh, I don't need to set an image. We want godlies and supremes, of course. Just in case that randomly happens. Somehow. You want the fusions. Uh, we don't want to always include fusion because that way, uh, if it does, it will pick up like uh, anything that is outside of this range. So if we if we type uh, always include fusion, it'll pick up stuff that we don't want. So do not check this one. Only if you want everything that is fused ever on that's that's on the ground, and we don't. So um, this is for our. Uh, let's see our armors. So we're only going to take the armors. Uh, we don't really care for the ancient set. You can pick it up if you want to, but it's kind of useless right now. Uh, so we'll check all of these. Um, we'll tick off. I don't think we want any of these, but I'll have to double check. I don't think we do, especially not helmets. So, you know what? We'll just grab these ones just in case. So we'll grab these three, and then the rest of these, because that's the armor that we want. We don't want any helmets because Arcanist, and we don't want the Ancient Set because the Arcanist. So that's good for the the armor. Do weapons. Again, we're gonna do the upgrade range of. So basically, all of my weapons are bad right now but i would say anything that rolls with like 380 is probably a pretty good weapon so i'm gonna set my minimum there 
uh, you can be a little bit more generous if you think that uh, you need some some more. You can do like 360. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep mine at 380. Now let's go down here. Godlies and Supremes, of course. Do the fusion, not this one. Swords, bows, pole arms, and staffs. And then uh, we'll set a separate one for these four because it's a little annoying to group them together. But I'm pretty sure that's it for that one. Pretty easy. Let's do pets. Upgrade range. Generally, okay, so really my pets are terrible. All of them, all of them. But you know what? Let's even go take a quick look. How do I save? Uh, apply, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Let's look at my pets. So I've got some giraffes at 370. That's probably my best one, honestly. 330s, like my pets are so trash, but um, we probably want to be picking up anything that rolls above. Again, a 380, I think, is a good is a good one. Um, the same that we set for the sword. So anything above 380 is really a good roll. But um, right now I'm lacking in just about every department. So anything, like, really I want to be picking up anything that's a 340, but um, 380 is a good roll. And I don't really want anything less than that so that's what we're gonna set our pets to as well you know what we'll even go 370 just be a little more generous in case you know we do get something pretty cool uh that's not bad though okay cool come down here to accessories and we'll check pets but not always include because then again it will just pick up anything that is that and not what the we want right so um let's see i think it's important that we check non-elemental here too along with fusion because there are non-elemental pets such as like uh a fairy it's a bad example but um yeah so that's it for the pets. Let's check out accessories. Upgrade range. This one I would set to like 265 I think is a pretty good number. Um, a lot of these will roll. And this is just like this is based based very much on the fact that you're going for dune eater base loot right so um if you're recovering from or uh like making it up to um, maybe set these numbers a little lower but i think 265 is a pretty good set stone for dune eater um a lot of the time you'll roll like brooches from labs you'll get like a 204 but it's got great great um secondary like uh the, the blue stats right they got like hp and mp and that would could have been a really good piece for you but um it didn't auto loot because so like make sure you're looking at your loot too don't always depend on these unless you're chilling but um this is again this is how i'm doing it so if you're if you're following and watching cool but uh yeah this is this is what we're rocking dude so we want bruces bracers masks None of these. Uh, let's check our qualities. Godlies and Supremes. And I think that's about it for the accessories. Runes, this one's pretty simple. We only want the godly ones and we only want runes. Right? That's it. We don't want anything else. Maybe non elemental, but uh, I don't think that applies. So. Boom. Uh, we can do one more for the off hands. We can check the upgrade range on this one. Usually, uh, you'll get a lot of these. So, 
Um, depending on if you want godly ones, I would set it at like 280. Um, even some of them are 300. You can roll 300s. I'm going to set mine to 290. And uh, that way we can still pick up godly ones because I don't have any 110 heroes. And uh, we'll leave the option to pick up any Supremes as well. We can't have fusions because those don't exist, even though there are <laughs> images for it. They are non-elemental though, so we can check that. Boom, 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 boom. That's what we're looking for. Pretty sure that's it, dude. So, that's, uh, those are my auto loop filters. We can go in and test them out. Uh, but you can, it's, it's pretty easy to see what you're doing. Like if you are in a lobby and you've, you've got loot on the ground, like how you set it affects what you see on the map. So, um, if you need to go in and change it like that, but I mean, that's, I'm pretty sure that's it, dude. Uh, I'm just going to assume that this works and go find loot later because I'm not, I'm, I'm good. That was awesome. That took some good time and uh, cool. Anyway, yeah, auto loots, man. Hopefully that helps you out. Thank you for watching and uh, I will see you all in the next one.